Howdy folks, this is Justro at Matt Kaif Meals. I got a little video for you today. We're going to take a trip and go deliver this meal that you seen in that video yesterday. I hope you've seen it. If you ain't, you need to go back and check it out. We're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to see some very interesting things throughout this video. I hope you stick around for it. You know, there ain't no kind of a road trip complete without stopping by and looking at an old mill site or two. That bearing on on that pinion gear is wore bum out. There ain't even no center in the bearing. Old mill side up here, way back in the hills of old Virginia. mill size you can see the old metal plume that come down from the dam. It must have been an old turbine inside, not a water. Well, look at this folks. Folks, I was passing by this little corn crib here and I wanted to show you a detail. And I heard about this all my life, but this is the first time I've ever seen it. If you'll notice, on top of the post, they got wash tubs turned upside down. And that was to keep any rats or anything from climbing up the post and getting into the corn crib. I've heard about people doing that all my life, but that's the first time I've ever seen it. Wash tubs on the post of the corn crib right there. That's all done.
This house was built by a personal close friend of John Wayne. Now, folks, I'm going to show you right now where we dropped the meal off. Right there. That's the shop where we dropped the meal off, center screen. I tell you right now, I've never took a meal to a prettier place. The only thing that made this day better is if them old boys that have got them a Metcalf meal. What you doing, huh? What you doing? What you doing, huh? I ain't got no snacks for you. I ain't got no snacks for you. So how do you like living up here in this beautiful place? Folks, we're up here at Mr. Danny's, and I wanted to show you his big flare bolter here. Now, this thing's got four spouts. Each one of these spouts, you get something out of. I think this would be the brand on this end. And then this was a little coarser grade of flare, like Midlands. But the way these cutoff gates work, over on the other side here, if you can see, it's got this handle right here. And you pull that handle out, and that opens the flow up coming out of the spout. And the way that works is it's solid on this side. Yeah, it's got the hooks here on the side to hang your bag under there, too. But when you push that handle in, it puts a solid bottom in that spout, see? This is open here? Okay, okay. And see, that opens it up. That opens the flow through there. And then when you push that solid bottom, but it's got... It's got gates on all three of these spouts right here. And I'm guessing this is the same grade of flare right here. Coming out of both these spouts because it looks to me like the bolting cloth up here in the top is the same all the way down. It's the same size bolting cloth all the way down to where the Midlands come out right here. And the way that works, that reel turns. That sifting reel turns inside there. Your product is fed in right here in this inlet. It goes down in and comes out inside that reel, and that reel is a turning by way of this hog right here, see? 
And that turns the reel inside as well as there's a chain that goes here on these cogs. And this is just an idler here to keep tension on the chain. The chain also drives the auger in the bottom. And what that does on this rounded bottom, it's probably most likely a rope auger, just a like a long wooden round big dowel with a rope around it. And, it, and it's like... It's like threads on a screw, and as that turns, it'll either pull the flare one way to one spout, probably both ways right here. But that's how that works. Here's your drive pulleys. Here's the old mill that goes with that. And I've never seen one of these mills, but it's a genuine setup for flare. Genuine setup for flare. And it is a honey. It's a honey to me because I've never seen one like it. Now this device sitting on top of this mill is a smutter or a scour. And what that does, it removes any impurities in the wheat, any of the outer bran that's left, or any of the little hairs or beards, just any impurities in the wheat, it will suck it out by air there's a little collector on the side of the hopper you'll see that later when this thing's operating for danny but that's what that thing does i know i've never shown one on my channel before but that's what it is it's a grain smutter wheat smutter or scour over here's the bag two double spout forked spout bagging elevator big old skinny spouts on it one spout sends it into that outlet on top of the mill right here, or inlet on top of the mill. That would be hooked over here on this short spout. And then if you wanted unbolted, what they call ground flare, just flare, not been sifted, you flip this over, that's, that's going into the mill. Flip it over that way, and it'll put it going down this spout, and you can bag it up right here. It's got the hooks on it. You can bag it up right there on that one. And it goes, this inlet right here, it comes out of the grinding mill and goes right in that inlet. It's got the elevator chain there with the, with the little sweeps on it to carry it up. That's how that works. I'm thinking this little elevator right here, which Danny has given to me, same principle. Product goes in the bottom down here got a little tiny elevator belt that comes up and sends it out this outlet belt drive neat little piece right here i've never seen one like it danny is kind enough to give that to me you can see these little tiny elevator cups right here you can see how big it is compared to my finger little tiny elevator cups never seen nothing like it big heavy cast heavy cast bracket here that it mounts on Mount it down, two-speed drive pulley, step pulley. Either two-speed or it's driving two different things. I don't know which. But this is really something else, something that I've uh, never seen before. I've never seen a Meta's flare bolter, and that's it right there. That is it. Wanted to share it with you. Now, folks, we got a real treat right here to share with you. This right here is an old mill built in the 30s, Danny. Mm -hmm. Built in the 30s by an old fella named Hobart Hall, a good friend of Danny's. And he wanted him a grain mill, a corn mill, but he couldn't afford to buy one. So he made one, and this is it. I've never seen nothing like it in all my days. This thing is a homemade corn mill, and it's built on the Meadows or the Williams style. And we'll get in here. It's getting a little dark, but you can see pretty good here. And this is the shoe right here. He, Danny said it had a wooden hopper up here that fed the corn down into the shoe. Wooden pulley made out of wood. So when you turn this, the way he designed this thing, let me set this down. You can see how it shakes the shoe. And I'm gonna turn this. 
see that see that shoe shaking can you tell it's moving there back and forth if you can't it is we're gonna open this baby up and look at the rocks in it but this is all blacksmith made and handmade rocks and handmade chipped out rocks he went and got the rocks and chipped them out these bolts is a William style they fold out the the, the case bolts do the adjustment for the stones can't see it over here and i don't know how to put the light on but it's like a ram's horn adjuster it's got two wings light. like a big wing light. and you turn that and it it counters this rod coming down from the side on that adjuster nut it counters on this little counter beam right here and it pushes on that shaft to tighten the stones up Okay, you know what? I don't know what size it is. It ain't big. Oh, yeah. But, folks, this is the neatest meal, I guess, that I've ever seen because it wasn't made in some factory somewhere. A man wanted a grain mill, and he built him one. He couldn't afford to buy one, so he built him one. And it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I can't wait to open it up and see these stones that he cut, whittled out, see what they look like. I can't wait. Folks, we got these bolts loosened up here, and we're going to have this thing open and see what these rocks look like. Now, folks, right here's the little rocks that this old gentleman made. They're not slick, Danny. They're not? He's pecked on them right there, it looks to me like. They look like a little bit like they've been pecked there. there. They're not slick. They're still decently rough. I mean, there's some slick spots right there. This stone was quarried at north of Independence on Highway 21 when they were quarrying stone to build the Great Lakes to Florida Highway. Man. And they were quarrying granite there to make gravel. And he got two pieces of stone and chipped them out by hand and dressed them and made this little meal because he couldn't afford a meal and he wanted one. He had time and no money. Oh, my goodness. Time and no money, and this is what he built. That's what he built. Now, I can't imagine how he felt the day he put this together and, ground, and get ground corn for him. Yeah, he didn't cut. Now, what do you call the other pieces that come up this way in it? That's just a quarter dress. This is more like a. That's kind of a quarter. One, two, three, four quarters. See. Okay. And then one, two, three, four. In thirds. One, two, three, four. Which divide in thirds. And that's on. That's like a three quarter dress. No, that's a four quarter dress, but there's three whole quarters. Right. Mm, man. Would that grind? I don't know why it wouldn't. I don't know why it wouldn't, buddy. I mean, it's slick. It could use a dressing, but man, if that ain't some treasure right there now. Well, I've never seen them. I didn't know what they look like. They may, may be Chip. so soft they don't. He put a band back on there. He's a band on the back of that stone. Is it? See it back in there? Oh, I see it now. Yep. He had plenty of room to keep dressing too, didn't he? Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that rock's over six inches thick. See, there's his little... There's his catch right there. There's his sweeper. Yep. He riveted it on that band. On the inside. That on feels like a buggy wheel. That band feels like a buggy tar off a buggy oh, wheel. Yeah. yeah, there's been one there, but it's broke off. There's a groove in the rock there where it went. He put his sweeper under it. Yeah. So it'd be fastened between <laughs> that band and the stone. Yeah. See that groove there? He had another sweeper there. Right there's that one. It's got a groove for it. Man, look at this little auger he put on here. That right there took some smarts just to do that, let alone any of this other stuff. It looks like the spring off of an old tiny starter bendix. And I bet that's what it's been opened up. Mm. Right here, he's a little eccentric right there. 
and it moves this shoe. It's just, it rubs right here. You can see it moving back and forth. It's the wheels narrow, except it's narrow there, and it gets wider. So this piece right here, I guess you'd call that an eccentric plate or something. It's wider on one side, narrower on the other, so it pushes this little. Makes it rock back and forth, look at that. And that shakes this shoe to feed the corn in at a steady flow. And this looks like an old bread pan is what that looks like. That's an old bread pan. You can see right there on the corners where it's folded up. This right here is a grater out of your kitchen, a kitchen grater there to grade stuff on. Let the dust fall down through it. Clean a little dust out. Put right down through it and grind it. Mm, 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 mm. What a treasure now. Thank you for showing this to us, Danny. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad somebody got to see it. Folks, I just wanted to say it don't matter what you're doing, how good it is, it can always get better when you have good friends involved. And this day was made a hundred times more special by good friends. It wasn't just a meal delivery. It was a wonderful day and got to see some good, precious friends, and I'm thankful for that. And I want to say thank you to Danny and Miss Cleavy for that wonderful pound cake we had for that late evening snack. And also, I want to say thank you to Mike and Laverne for the little visit we had with them and for their uh, gifts that they gave us. So, it can always be made more special with good friends. And don't forget that. Well, folks, we ended up over here on Danny's porch eating some delicious pound cake that the missus made for us today. And drinking coffee. And drinking coffee. And looking at leatherwork. And looking at leatherwork and pictures and books. And it's been a great day. Can't think of no better way to end it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you did. Subscribe to my channel. Comment. Let me know what you think about it. We'll get on another meal soon. This is Justro and Mr. Danny. Look forward to seeing you next time.